All right, everybody, welcome back to another top buy and top sell video here in the Edge Finder. We're going to go over our number one buy and our number one sell currently listed today in the Edge Finder. But before we get to that, we got some other interesting stuff to take a look at, like the Smart Money Tracker. If you're unfamiliar with what the Smart Money Tracker is, it's our COT report data, meaning this is what institutional traders or sometimes called smart money traders are going long and short on. These are like what hedge fund guys guys that are getting paid lots of money to take lots of trades this is what their favorite long and short assets are so over here we can see our most bullish asset currently from those institutional traders is actually gold 79.42 percent long and 20.58 percent short from institutional traders gold is the most bullish asset but on the other hand the yen is the most shorted asset 86.76 percent short and 30 13.24% long there. If you want to take a look at, say, the US dollar, the US dollar is also on the long side, favored 67.48% uh, long and 32.52% short there. Here is all of that information, but listed out numerically, we can see our most bullish asset up here at the top and our most bearish asset down here at the bottom. But we can see the total number of long contracts, the total number of short contracts, their changes long and short from the last data release, and of course, their percentages long and short there as well. So super useful, super interesting stuff to see what those smart money traders are going long and short on but we can also check out retail sentiment and retail sentiment is what the crowd or the day traders are going long and short on. And we have that listed by the actual currency pairs themselves. So starting off here, these are our major currency pairs or our US dollar pairs. Did you know that you can get 40% off the Edge Finder right now? Our advanced market scanning software, the Edge Finder was first released one year ago in April. So to celebrate, we're doing an anniversary sale. Over the past 12 months, we've helped traders all over the world sharpen their skills and find better trades using the market scanner. This is the best time ever to get the Edge Finder for yourself at this massive 40% discount. Day trader, edge finder. Swing trader, edge finder. Fundamental or a technical trader, it all comes together in the edge finder. So don't wait because this sale won't last forever. Be sure to take advantage of this 40% off discount at checkout when you use promo code A1YT. Happy trading, everyone. Uh, USD CHF is our most favored long US dollar pair at the moment, 88% long and 12% short here, whereas pound dollar is our most uh, favored short US dollar pair, currently 67% short and 33% long. We can also look at our minor currency pairs. These are the rest of the currency cross assets that we have listed in the edge finder. AUD CHF is our most uh, heavily favored long wool, AUD CHF and CAD CHF actually are our most favored long assets at 96% long and 4% short there. Whereas Euro NZD is our most heavily uh, shorted asset from day traders, 89% short and 11% long there. So quick update for you long and short for what uh, both day traders and smart money traders are going long and short on. But let's go ahead and hop into the watch list and check out our top buy and top sell. So I'm going to remove these neutral biases. And this is the complete list of buys and sells that we currently have listed in the edge finder. I'm going to remove any indices or commodities that we might have looks like just indices right now. And there we go. As far as currency pairs go, these are all the currency pairs that are listed as a buy or a sell bias currently in the edge finder. And we currently have four strong signals. We have two strong buys and two strong sells. We have a clear winner up top here for the buys. CHF JPY is a strong buy bias with a score of plus seven. Whereas on the sell side, NZD CHF and Aussie USD are both tied strong sells with scores of minus six. So we're definitely going to take a look at CHF JPY because it's standing alone up here with that score of plus seven. And we took a look at AUD USD in yesterday's news video. If you want a full breakdown of all of the numbers 
uh, and data associated with AUD USD. You can find that in yesterday's video listed as a strong sell score of minus six still. So very useful information there. Still, we took a look at AUD USD yesterday because of the NFP report and those new unemployment rate numbers that came out for the US dollar. So we took a look at that pair. So if you want a full breakdown of AUD USD, check out yesterday's video. But I think that just leaves us with NZD CHF to take a look at here and CHF JPY to take a look at on the buy side. So why don't we go ahead and start off with that uh, buy NZ or excuse me, CHF JPY strong buy score of plus seven. Where is it? I'm losing it. There it is. CHF JPY. So yeah, like I've just mentioned, a strong buy, buy a score of plus seven. COT data is actually a score of zero, and retail sentiment is a score of plus one. We can get into those numbers right over here. So the reason we're getting that zero or that neutral score for the COT data is because institutional traders are actually both favored short on the yen and the Swiss franc individually at the moment. So 86.76% short from institutional traders on the yen and 71.65% short uh, on the Swiss franc. Those are both pretty, pretty heavily favored short from the institutional traders. In fact, I remember taking a look at the smart money tracker, the thing that we looked at a little bit earlier, the yen was our most heavily shorted pair from those institutional traders at that 86, almost 87% there. Now, retail sentiment, on the other hand, is showing us 84% short and 16% long from the day traders. The reason that's getting a plus one score there is because unfortunately, oftentimes day traders are incorrect. And so uh, a lot of the times when the crowd is going one way, we tend to go the other way. Seasonality is a score of plus one as well. And we can see here in the month of April, if you were to just isolate the month of April over the last 10 years to see how CHF JPY trended throughout those 10 years in the month of April, well, you would notice that it trends just a little bit bullishly here. Our trend reading score is a plus two and it doesn't quite look like that from the trend projection page we see some downward momentum before it popped back up today but i bet you if we look at price forecast that'll tell a little bit of a different story so let's go find chf jpy here in our price forecast page there it is price forecast page gives us a little bit of a longer uh, timeline here to work with. And that does look like a pretty strong upward trend here. So ever since March 21st, and even before that, I would suspect CHF JPY continue to make moves to the upside up until about March 31st. And then over the last week or so, it's come down a little bit since that high, but has popped back up to that high today. And price forecast does project that based off of all of the other uh, data it's bringing in, that it will continue to make those moves to the upside. We can finish up here with our fundamentals. GDP growth is a zero or a neutral score and inflation, unemployment, and interest rates are all scores of plus one. It's pretty easy and pretty clear to see why GDP is a score of zero because currently the Japan and Switzerland both have uh, GDP percentages of zero. Inflation on the other hand in Japan, 3.3% compared to 2.9% in the, uh, Switzerland. Japan's unemployment rate, 2.6% compared to 2%. And lastly, interest rates on the Japanese yen, currently negative 0.1% compared to 1.5% on the Swiss franc. So there we go, CHF JPY, currently a strong buy bias with that score of plus seven. The other pair we said we were gonna take a look at, I believe was NZD CHF, is that correct? Yes, it is, NZD CHF, so we can find that right down here with that strong sell bias score of minus six. COT data is actually zero on this one as well, and retail sentiment is a score of minus one. So those institutional traders actually favored short on both of these currencies individually. Again, we already knew that they were favored short on the Swiss franc because we just took a look at it. In fact, because we're taking a look at all of those Swiss franc numbers again, I'm just gonna kind of skip past that and just look over the New Zealand dollar numbers so that we're not repeating all of that same 
same information over again. But yeah, New Zealand dollar uh, favored on the short side from institutional traders, 62.69% there. Retail sentiment uh, is 82% long and 18% short from day traders, so pretty heavily favored on the long side. Our seasonality is a score of minus one. And we can see here again, when you're talking about the month of April, historically, it's just very, very, very slightly bearish. It's almost neutral, but we can see it just poking out barely under that zero neutral line there, meaning that historically speaking, it is just a little bit bearish. Our trend reading is a score of minus two, and this one's a little bit easier to see here. We can see ever since April 4th that we just continue to make moves to the downside, and in fact, it is shot way down uh, so far today. Price forecast does continue to project that it will continue to move down, and in fact, to, just to get a better reading on it, why don't we take a look at it in the price forecast page? So NZDCHF will get a better look at the chart as a whole, and yeah, so we can see a little bit of consolidation. It's definitely come down. Um, it was definitely trending downwards in the month of March um, up until about March 28th, and then it hit a little bit of consolidation here, but never broke through those highs and continued to move downwards, and that's what we're seeing right now. So let's finish up with our fundamentals for NZD CHF. GDP growth, inflation, and unemployment, all scores of minus one. Interest rates are loan blue box here, score of plus one. So again, I'm gonna go over the New Zealand dollar numbers because we already looked at Swiss franc, but New Zealand GDP growth current negative 0.6%, inflation 7.2%, unemployment 3.4%, and interest rates on the New Zealand dollar 5.25%. So there we go, a quick breakdown of NZD CHF for you. A strong sell bias currently in the edge finder at that score of minus six and CHF JPY breakdown as well. Strong buy bias score of plus seven. I'll remind you just one last time that you can get the edge finder with all of this information and more for a super discounted price of 40% off when you use the promo code A1YT at checkout. So go into the links down in the description below and check out the edge finder for yourself. And if you're interested in getting it, make sure to use that promo code A1YT for a huge, massive 40% discount. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want our broker recommendation, access to our free Discord, free Edge Finder, or want to chat with us on Telegram. Remember, you can watch us live in the markets every morning starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have lots more free trading tools and content available on our website, a1trading.com. Thanks for watching.